Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review for The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. So this book is about a girl named Lex, and Lex is a math whiz who's living a pretty normal life as far as normal lives go, and she's having a really great time, but then her brother, her younger brother, kills himself. So this book is kind of following her as she's trying to put her life back together and learn how to live without her brother and learn to deal with uh, the tragic end of his life. I really enjoyed the writing of this book overall. Um, it wasn't like absolutely exceptional or anything, but it was solid writing. I think I've read a few of Cynthia Hand's books. I've read her Unearthly trilogy, which is a completely different thing than this book, which is a contemporary. That one's kind of a paranormal thing with angels and stuff. And her writing is good. It's nothing fantastic though. And this one kind of followed suit. It wasn't really amazing to me, but it was solid writing. There was nothing really wrong with it. It was just kind of average. The characters in this book were enjoyable to me. Um, I found Lex to be an interesting character, and this book really follows her and what's going on in her mind, so she's really the main character that you get to see, and I did have a little bit of a problem with that. Um, I wish that you would have gotten more of the other characters. You do get her friend from childhood, you get to see a little bit of her, um, but you don't get a lot into any of the other characters, and I kind of wish you did get more of that. You do get to see Tyler and and um, her perception of him, but I would have liked to kind of see more. I mean, obviously he's just died, so you can't get much of it, but I wish you would have been able to see him when he was happy rather than as he's depressed, I guess. I don't know. I just, the characters were okay. Like, I just, yeah. The plot of this book was another thing that I had a problem with. I found that it was really, really slow. Nothing really happened and it was just kind of the same thing throughout the whole book, so it got a little tiresome. Um, I did like the whole concept of it though, her trying to deal with her uh, brother's death. I think it was dealt with really well. Um, the whole topic of mental illness and suicide was dealt with really well in this book. but. There was this whole kind of romance thing that was going on and it just was not really working for me and that was kind of a huge focus of it and I think that's part of the reason why this book fell a little bit flat for me. I just felt like it was this random romance element thrown in there for the sake of having a romance in there and it was just meh to me so I don't know. Like I enjoyed the overall uh, seeing inside her mind as she's trying to figure out how to live again and how to be happy again without her brother, but I just felt like there were a few elements that should have been left out and there were some things that were also missing from the plot. So this is a sh super short review, but I don't really have anything else to say. So overall, I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars, I believe. I felt like it was, uh, the concept was really great, but it fell a little bit flat for me. Overall, I just felt like there were a few things missing from the plot, and it could have been a little bit better. So that's going to be all for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you wanted to follow me on social media, all that stuff is linked down below. Basically, my username is HailStartsNYC for everything so you can find me pretty easily. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!